even get to God. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we are going to implement R gate in Quartz 2. For this purpose, I have already opened Quartz 2. Just go to the file menu, click on New Project Wizard. A window will pop up. It will show the introduction of the new project wizard. Do not go into it. Skip it. Click Next. Here you have to specify the directory for the project. Click here. Make sure that you have already made a folder by the name of experiments in any of your drive so that you will uh, save all your experiments in that folder. I have made a folder by name experiments in my G drive. Here um, we will make a new folder by the name of R or gate. Now you have to give a name for your project, give it a meaningful name, that is its second experiment, so I will put 2, underscore, or, open, ok, click next, skip this, next, in device family, uh, select a family by the name of cyclone 2, and uh, in available devices we are going to select EP2C20F484C7 Click next Next It will show the summary of the project When you click finish the project will be created Now again for making the block diagram go to the file menu Click on new A window will pop up in this window you have to select block diagram or schematic file Click ok the block diagram window will appear. Or simply double click on the block diagram window. Or you can do it by clicking on the sample tool. When the window appears, go into the libraries, go to primitives, and primitives go to logic. A number of gates will appear along with their inputs. As we are making an orb or gate, so we will go for or gate with two inputs. Yeah, okay drop it on the screen then again go to the symbol tool this time we will go pins input okay as we need input pins two input pins so we will drop two input pins on the screen again we will go to the symbol tool and we will select an output pin okay and drop the output pin on the screen now, now we have to connect the output and the input pins to the gate. You can do it by any way. There are two ways. Um, either you just bring it and join it and then bring it back. Bring it, join it and then bring it back. Or you can make it by joining it through a wire. Like this. Sometimes it happens that there appears a small cross, so you have to make the connection smooth. Now we have made our diagram. We will just need to give it a name A to the input A and then B to input B and F for the output. Okay. Now go to file menu and save it. Save. Now go to processing and click on start compilation. It will take a little time for compilation. Wait for it till that is compiled. Now when the compilation is finished, it, will, it may give you warnings. For the time being, ignore the warnings, click OK. Now as you can see, our diagram is made and our compilation is finished. Now we will go to make the waveform for it. So click on file menu, click, click on new. Now we are going to select vector waveform file, click OK. A window will pop up, go to edit, click on it and manage the end time. Set the end time to 100 nanoseconds, click OK. Again go to edit. Set the grid size, it's a 
10 second nanosecond okay in the name to, uh, column you have to right click go insert insert node or bus go to node finder make sure that filter column all pins are selected click on list so the list of input and output will appear copy it to the selected nodes click here so the nodes will appear okay now you can click ok okay so the inputs and outputs will appear in the name column now um, in order to set the timings for it click on each input and go to value click on clock set the time period for the first one 10 nanoseconds yes it is 10 nanoseconds uh, right click go to value click on clock set the time to 20 nanoseconds period to 20 nanoseconds click ok now the main thing is uh, go to assignment click on settings simulation mode change the mode to functional click ok now file and save it click save ok now go to processing and click on start compilation wait for it until it, it is compiled for the time being ignore the warnings go to processing and click on start compilation and simulation wait for it again now click on view and fit in window again go to view and click on full screen now you can see the waveform for it as you can see for both the inputs when they are zero the output is zero when any of the input is one the output is one and when both of the inputs are one the output is one this is the waveform for the R gate now you can take the snapshot by clicking on the print speed button on your keyboard and then go and paste it into the paint thank you so much